Good morning, beloved church. I wanted to share with you a story from uh, Marine Social Studies that we really like. It's called We the Kids, and it's an illustrated version of the preamble of the Constitution. This is by um, David Catro, and he illustrated one of Maureen's favorite books, um, Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. When I pulled this out this morning, she said, well, why aren't we reading Molly Lou Mellon? But since it's 4th of July, we're going to read this. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, look at the rules, play fair, share, no pulling hair, Ensure domestic tranquility. Provide for the common defense. Promote general welfare. and secure the blessings of liberty. To ourselves and our posterity. To do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Now, Catra goes ahead and explains what each of these means. A preamble, he says, is the first part, an introduction of, to something. We, the people of the United States, are all people of the country, including kids in order to form a more perfect union, to come together and make things better for everyone who lives in our country. Establish justice to make things fair and honest for everyone. Ensure domestic tr tranquility to make sure we can all have a nice life and get along with one another. Provide for the common defense to protect us from other people or countries who might try to harm us as in a war and to help us if we have been harmed. To promote the general welfare. To help make a good life for everybody. Having enough to eat, a place to live, being safe, and having friends and fun times are some of the things that make our lives good. And the sense of liberty, to promote our rights and freedoms and not let anyone take them away. Being able to choose our religion, to say what we think, and to get together with friends and family and other people are some of the freedoms we have to ourselves and our posterity, for kids, parents, and other grown-ups and all the people who come to this country after we are, to ordain and establish this Constitution, to write down, to live by a list of rules or promises for our government to keep and for our people to obey, for the United States of America, our country where we live. These big words express big ideas. Check out what the dog is doing in this story. He'll help you understand what they mean. So look what the dog's doing. He's carrying all of the stuff. And he's hauling the stuff on up to perform more perfect union. He's listening when they give the rules. Ensure domestic tranquility. He's watching TV. Do your dogs like to watch TV? It is cat that like to watch TV. Provide for the common defense. Look at all these critters out here. Looks like there is a bug and a mouse and a squirrel and a groundhog. And uh, I'd like that uh, dog to come get some of the bugs out of my yard. Promote general welfare. Look how he's entertaining everyone. <laughs> They're all having a good time. 
secure the blessings of liberty. Looky, they're all snuggled down. <laughs> Em's like the dog is sleeping and look who's watching over, mom and dad. And then we've got this wonderful picture of the neighbor neighborhood and then a picture of the country. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday and a good weekend. And I hope you can join us tomorrow for worship online because the African drumming group is playing. And that's always a lot of fun. And there's a, a new piece at the very end that Sarah Bodell wrote. So um, come and listen to the new piece. Some of them might sound familiar and the new one will be brand, brand new. This is its premiere. So have a, a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.